reference layers. You've heard about them. You've seen them. Everybody's talking about them. You should be using them as well. Today, let's go over it. I'll give you a quick explanation as to what it is, and then we're going to jump in, demo some of it, and see how it's done. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I want to cover reference layers. It's a super important part of Procreate, it's something I think everyone should be using, something that I use on pretty much a daily basis. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump in and have a look. Everyone seems to have their own way to describe exactly what a reference layer is. But the way I like to describe it is that it's an advanced feature within Procreate itself that allows you to keep your line work intact while coloring it easily on a separate layer. Using reference layers opens up a world of possibilities, allows you to keep that line work intact, it allows you to create whatever color you'd like, and then gives you the choice of whether you want to use that or even just revert back to that line work in the end. All right, let's jump straight in the iPad and have a look at a piece that I created recently. All right, so this piece is from a video I recently made. You can find a link to that at the top of the screen right now, but essentially there's nothing else to this piece except for line work at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and color it, and this is where reference layers come in super handy. If you using something like pencil on paper, you would have to go in and be very, very detailed and make sure you get every little bit of that line. As you can see here, I'm trying not to touch my outlines because if I go over them, oh, the outline's gone. So as you can imagine, this would be very tedious and tiresome if we had to do this for the whole entire piece. And that is the beauty of digital art. What I can do, let's get rid of those strokes I just made. We're going to tap on our layers panel in the top right hand corner of the screen. We're going to create a new layer. We're going to long press on that layer and we're going to drag it below our outline layer, which you can see there. Outline layer is layer one. Our color layer is going to be layer two. We're going to tap back on layer one and then we're going to tap on it again and we're going to select reference from the list. This line work layer has now become a reference layer. The line work is going to stay intact because what we're going to do, we're going to select layer two and then we're going to go about coloring our piece however we see fit. I personally like to use color fill a lot. I think it's a really fast way to block in sections of an artwork, but however you see fit, you can now jump in and color that piece. So if we have a look here at this artwork, I'm gonna tap on our brush, maybe select the airbrush again. And then as you can see, whenever I go close to an outline there, it's actually not gonna affect the outline itself. If we tap back on, we can see the colors going on its own layer, but it's not affecting that outline. So this becomes really, really handy when we're gonna do something like color drop, like I mentioned, or, or color fill. We're gonna tap and press on the color that we have selected, whichever color you like, and then we're gonna drag it onto a section of that artwork. Bang, fills that up. It's a really quick way to jump around the entire piece, block in colors. It allows you to quickly lay down color, and then you can use things like hue, saturation, and brightness sliders to affect that color however you see fit. But you can also go back into this, create shading over the top, and it's not gonna ruin your line work. So from here, I wanna create some depth and some shading on this teal color. I'm gonna tap back on my color picker at the top. I'm gonna to tap on classic, the bottom of that section. Then I'm just gonna use my sliders to darken up the color a little bit. And then we're gonna use a soft brush. We're gonna bring up that size because we wanna get a nice blend. You can go around the piece like this and create some nice little bits of shading in there, so. As you can see, my line work is not being affected at all. And I'm just being able to add highlights and shading and color in where I see fit. I usually like to go segment by segment in this. I think it's a good way to keep track of the overall flow of the design. And there we go, there's that little petal there, created nicely with the use of a reference layer. If we tap back on the color panel at the top, I can turn that color off, but I've also still got full use of my outline there. So if at the end I got really tired of this color and I'm like, you know what, it's not right for me, I can simply turn it off and I'm back to outline stage. This can be super useful for people who are creating things like children's books or coloring in books where accessing that line work is vital to the end result. And then we have it, a super quick reference today on exactly what a reference layer is and one of the ways that I like to use it. There are many more uses for this. I just wanted to keep it super simple so you could see what was going on in my workflow. Maybe you can implement it into yours as well. If you want to pick up any tips on anything further, have a look at the rest of my videos, in particular one at the top of the screen now on outlining in Procreate, but also check out the shorts that I post as I post a lot of time lapses there and you can see exactly how I go about creating different pieces and the methods 
methods that go into those. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you could smash that subscribe button down below, that'd mean the world to me as it'll allow me to grow my channel. Or if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to have a chat and hear what you have to say. I'll be back soon with the next video. Until then, stay safe and I'll catch you then.